All right, so uh, we're here with Randy. We're gonna do some machining on the 440. So we got the heads out here. Just gonna clean them up. Getting ready for some surfacing. Valve seats. Oh yeah, get in there good. He really knows how to fill an exhaust hole. <laughs> okay, so Randy and Billy have kind of talked me into just radiusing this uh, yeah, intake port a bit. So, I mean, while we got them off, we went over with our uh, expert machinist and he gave us the go-ahead to just kind of radius this a bit because you're probably not going to be able to see it that well, but uh, there's definitely a lip there. Randy, so, so if you mess my 906 heads up, this, then you're out of luck. This, yeah, I'm, yeah. That looks like everybody gets their wish, and I, I am forced to then buy aluminum heads, but I don't think that's going to happen. So, this is the, uh, what we're looking at. There's a lot of meat on there to work with, so. No time but the present. This is not a race engine, Randy, so do not go crazy. We're just going to open it up a lot. Little, little cleanup. You didn't say a little cleanup, you mean fully poured. Right? <laughs> you get Here we go, now you can see perfectly. So we got a long skinny bit. Get right there. Right in there. So we'll nudge out of her. So we're getting rid of that ridge. So this has been already grinded out. Now here's uh, here's one where I yeah, get the light on. Right here is our focus point right now. So even though I've said over and over we're not doing any port jobs or polishing, this is a slight. <laughs> like I said, Randy and Joe just won't be happy until I end up with aluminum heads on my little uh, weekend cruiser. But I'm um, fine. We're here, they're off. Might as well do it. Alright, so as you can see, here is the un. Well, we're untouched. Untouched. This is the side we grind it out. So like I said, just kind of radiusing that corner, getting rid of that ridge, helping out airflow a bit. Not necessarily opening it up, just increasing the ability, you know, to get air into the combustion chamber and, you know, consequently air out. Okay, so we made our what was this, the first pass? Yeah, it was just a leveling pass. Just yeah. to make sure, verify my level was proper. So we got our first pass, and as you can see, we can hit both ends, but the mill is pretty much untouched. So that indicates some, some more pitch. So, 
This is, you know, why we got the heads off and we're surfacing them before we reinstall. You want a nice flat surface. So we're gonna keep going at this until the whole surface gets machined down. So this is the finished product. Got it all surfaced and even. You gotta take like a hardware stone, like a gun barrel brush or something small. Clean the guys really good and oil them. Okay. I'm sure you're going to wash them better than what they are. Yeah, yeah. Get them all washed Don't up. Don't get paint on any of them surfaces. Any of the... Any of the Meld or... You're right. Yeah, don't lay it on that surface. It's no. not even around the back either. <laughs> and don't get it wet and rusty. Well now, that's the thing, what 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 do I do now? Like WD-40 and spray it down? All the, the entire surface, because it, it'll rust bad now. Yeah. So I mean right now we're cutting the seats. Getting everything squared up. That's it. I'm doing there the probably is some kind of home remedy that <laughs> you could look up on YouTube or something where it says if you just use like prehistoric dinosaur fossils. It <laughs> so we're talking about wet additives. What to use? Keep your seats healthy. I mean, you're thinking what? It's almost like a heating oil. I have no idea what they use to make the lead additive because it's not what? actually lead. Right. But it seems like the consistency at least. It looked like fuel oil. Well, yeah, this is the last head. It's been surfaced. Hitting the valve seats now. All ready for reinstallation. Gonna have at least 40 more horsepower now. That's the number Randy's quoting, but that's Randy. So it'll probably be more like 80. <laughs> 40 per side. You always shoot low. <laughs> <laughs>